community benefit is important to us because it's part of who we are. It's part of the work that the sisters did before us. And our partnership with the MAC program and the day center allows people to stay out of the emergency department to get care that is more economically feasible and timely for them. What we're using in Mesa County as our MAC agency, it is a multi-agency collaboration to support community-wide case management for our most vulnerable, familiar face client in the community. The goal is to reduce recidivism in our high acuity programming. Um, so that's with hospitals, detentions, law enforcement. If a client is, is starving and they're houseless um, and they're scared, they are not gonna take the time to work on their mental health. They're not gonna take the time to work on their physical health. I went to the hospital for a whole bunch of reasons, mental health mostly, and um, St. Mary's Hospital put me in touch with the MAC program. They showed up at the hospital and talked to me and they've been giving me support since. Not only do we get to help clients uh, in their case management needs, but we also get to meet their needs in the immediate moment. It takes away all the bureaucracy. And we start to reframe how they see themselves, how they see the community, and then how they see their role within the community. Um, that's the kind of person that is safer that's the kind of per person I want to be my neighbor. MAC is not a risk. It's a guarantee that we will impact the recidivism rates. I've been in and out of prison all my life, and when I get out, I never have nobody. So I always, this is as long as I've ever been out. I owe it mostly to them because they've been there for me. I kept me from going back to my old ways, and I appreciate that. MAC is just one piece, but there's a lot of people doing a really amazing work in this community. In a month, we serve about 1,700 people. People come to the day center for laundry, to take a shower, to get mail, for medical services. We have a resident and a fellow, and so they're providing um, just kind of acute services for people who are experiencing homelessness. I've been coming to the day center since 2018. They listen to you, and they are sympathetic to our well-being and they want to make sure that we're safe and we have everything that we need medical-wise. Every time I have come in here, the doctors are, are compassionate and they're really wanting to know how, how you are as a person. We're able to meet their need, um, their acute need right there that same day and that same moment, and we help them to get connected to the broader community. I see the difference it makes in people's lives when they have someone that they can trust and that they can come to come and see every week. Place you can count on. You, you, I, there's never been a time that I came here that I was turned away. This place has been a lifesaver. I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for the day center. I'd probably be dead. Our work with the poor and vulnerable has been a part of our mission from the beginning. And as long as St. Mary's is here, we will be here to help.